of women, me included, think that cysts in the ovary are regular. No, that is not true. Actually, uh, when I first heard about it, I don't think my husband was so worried, but I was very worried. In fact, now post me, everyone in my family are, I think, more aware. The word cancer suddenly became a part of my life. My elder son said to me, Mom, don't you worry. It gave me a lot of strength. Have you ever heard about the polycystic ovarian syndrome? Everything I tried, exercising, even trying to eat healthy, and still the weight just kept increasing. You've actually been disciplined and motivated. It's just a well-balanced lifestyle that you really need to go for. I think it's possible to do that. You've gone in for a routine medical examination. The doctor tells you you have fibroids or cysts in your ovary. The first thing you're going to think is, it's cancer. You needn't think that way. Not all fibroids and cysts in the ovary mean cancer. Yes, in some cases they do, but in a majority of cases they don't. Those are frightening words. Fibroids, cysts, ovarian cancer. On Women on Top today, we're going to take away some of that frightening element from those words. Joining me on the show today, Dr. Urvashi Jha, gynecologist with Apollo Hospitals, and Anu Chopra. She had painful cysts in her ovary, and we're going to try and understand how she dealt with them. But Dr. Jha, first, if I may come to you. Uh, if I was told I had cysts in my ovary, I would be nervous. So what exactly are ovarian cysts? Ovarian cysts are actually technically tumors in the ovary, which may be benign or cancerous. Cysts are tumors, but most of them are benign, they're not cancerous. So one needn't worry, as you pointed out just now. But they can, on the other hand, be also functional cysts, or follicular cysts, or follicles. And these are when a woman forms an egg every month, just before release, they form a small collection of fluid, and those are follicles. That's normal. When then does a cyst become cancerous? It's very difficult to say. The only way you can tell is when you've actually removed it and looked at it under the microscope. So you don't really know till it's been removed. And I suppose in some senses, uh, the signs that these are problematic cysts could be that you have acute pain. And Anu, in your case, uh, you realized or woke up to those cysts because they were extremely painful. What was the pain like? It was unbearable. I mean, I, it used to be so terrible that I would even vomit with the pain. And uh, it was something that even if I think about now, I just gets me shivering because it was really horrible. Were there any other symptoms? Absolutely no other symptom. The only thing was this pain which was unexplained and would come and go, you know, as it pleased like. And then what did you do? So uh, the first time I had the pain, I thought that it is some infection. So I went to a general physician who put me onto some painkillers and gave me some medicine saying that, okay, it may be a stomach infection and it should not come back again. It continued and uh, then he thought that maybe it is some kind of a stone in the kidney. So it went on for six months and for six months this pain would just keep on coming unexplained. And then we were traveling, we had gone on a holiday and then the pain came back again over there and I had to be hospitalized. And there I went through a checkup with a gynae and she did an ultrasound. And the ultrasound showed that, that you had cysts that were causing that pain. I'm sure there was anxiety and fear that built up. And uh, at this stage, I want to ask Akhil, your husband, about how you dealt with that. Akhil. See, since we were not aware of what a cyst exactly is and uh, how serious can it get, we were never aware of the fact that it can get cancerous. We didn't know. Uh, for us, it was a simple average medical problem which had to be dealt with uh, through a doctor, nothing beyond that. And you know, that's something that one needs to emphasize again and again. Cysts in the ovary do not mean cancer or cancerous cysts every single time. But uh, Dr. Jha, what's a typical age for a woman to get problematic cysts? Actually, Manvi, uh, cysts are never uh, normal. It's all, cysts are always an abnormal part of development in a human body. They're normal only if they're small and they are then not called cysts. They are called just follicles.